Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today we are out here in a wash. Got a new friend here, Scott with his family. Say hi everybody. He found a bone. So in this wash we are looking for things like petrified wood. That's what it says in the book. So I don't know how much there is. I don't know how much we'll find. I don't know if we'll find other things. Traditionally, if you find petrified wood, you'll also find agates, jaspers, things like that. Yeah, it's been a little while since been out rock hounding. I'm so excited to finally be out again. It's the day after Christmas. So we're gonna search this wash, hopefully find something, hopefully some petrified wood, maybe something else. I don't know. I'll bring you back in when we find our first specimen. Here's the first little find, I think. Just a little bit of calcite. I'm not going to keep it, but it's interesting. Find a little bit of weathered calcite here. So Scott's found this cool little iron concretion that probably came out of sandstone. Sometimes have these really funny shapes where the iron kind of helps fill in these kind of breaks inside of it, which give it that weird, funny sh shape. If you think about that as like cracks that were in it and it kind of filled in the cracks. They're pretty cool looking things though. They can have some cool forms to them. So it looks like he found a really cool rock here that looks like ooids. So ooids are basically little pieces of shell that get rolled into these spheres at the edge of the ocean and stuff like that. So this is really cool, but these have a lot of iron in them. That is a pretty cool rock. Those are some really cool little ooids in there. So Scott just picked this up. Now, it's kind of hard to tell because it's so dirty. I'll get it back and cleaned off and hopefully be nice to get cut at some point. It's a little too big for my little saw. But it looks like either a travertine or potentially an agate that's dark colored. So uh, we're gonna cut it, but I think it's travertine personally. Here's this one that Scott found cut open. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, you've got the travertine up here. It's kind of a dark, kind of a root beer color. And then the base of it that it's grown off looks like a sandstone. So, interesting. So it looks like we've got some more travertine here. So you can see these little... It almost looks like what you call stromatolites, but it's really layers of calcite that's deposited by a hot spring over time. And sometimes it'll form these almost stalactites all stuck together. So that's what that is. So that we've been walking a while. Kind of the main thing we're seeing a lot of is travertine with sandstones and mud stones, which is shale. So a lot of that stuff. The travertine's kind of neat. No petrified wood yet though. Maybe I'll take home one of these little iron concretions and cut it open just to see what it looks like inside. Why not? So here's that little iron, iron concretion cut open and it turned out to be just hollow in the inside and it just shattered. Yeah, not much to show there. So here I am getting ready to show you things I cut open. And I just want to take a moment and show you. It snowed. We got a big snowstorm this week. We got another one coming this weekend. So there is a pretty darn good chance that, that I will not be able to get out rock hunting again for quite some time. It'll depend on the weather, but we got a lot of snow. Something going on right here. That is gypsum. Satin spar. So I got this nice little rock too of the Uids. A little larger, and it's small enough that I can cut it nicely, so I think I'll take this one home and cut it open. Get a better look at these things. Change the angle of the camera because of the lighting. Hopefully this is better. So here's this cut open. It's kind of that, you know, it looks like it's shells or oolites or oolitic something or whatever. So here it is cut open. So there's, there's travertine that you see up here, which is a hot spring deposit of calcite. And then there's what looks like oolitic limestone, but as far as I can see here, this looks more like travertine. So I'm gonna say that's what that is. So Scott went ahead and found this nice little one with a clamshell. So we've been seeing a lot of um, rocks with little shell fossils in it, but they're usually oyster shells and they don't look very good. 
This is the best looking one so far with the nice, I'm trying to think of the word, but yeah, it's a clamshell. And we're back at the vehicle after searching in the wash from about there to there. Um, get a pretty good feel for what's there. It's not a whole lot. There's travertine, sandstones, shells, and I didn't see any petrified wood. So we're going to go further up and see what we can find up there. So here we are at another spot, coming up much closer now to the mountains in the back. So I'm hoping maybe getting closer to the mountains, we'll get more options down here. So we'll check down here in this other spot. And I forgot to say, oh, you know, GPS coordinates to the first spot. But it's just basically when you come up, it's the first bridge. But here's the GPS coordinates to where we're parked right now. And I'm hoping we'll find better stuff here than what we were finding there. Made it down. Surprise, surprise, it looks just like the stuff from the other area. <laughs> I thought it would mostly look the same, but maybe it'll give us a few other options. Now that's interesting. So that's an impression in the sandstone of what would have been a branch of an interesting tree that may have been a tropical tree. I don't know, that's a really cool texture though. So we'll have to look up that closer, but I'm pretty sure that's a branch of some kind of a tropical tree. Here's this one cut open. It looks like travertine or shells, so... Hmm... It looks like it may be calcite forming around shells. So, depending on when that occurred, it could be oolitic, but I don't think so. I think this is probably still kind of more of a hot spring. But maybe there's shells there. Hmm, difficult one to determine. I'll have to probably look at it more closely. And we made it back to the vehicle. So that's this area. There's not a whole lot. So we went and checked down there. And this area wasn't even as good as that first area. Oh, and I didn't quite give you the GPS for that. So here's the GPS for that area. So some interesting stuff. Not the greatest. The uh, the ooids were kind of interesting. The travertine was interesting. The the uh, iron concretions. So if you want to come out here, I'd look for those. I wouldn't bother with really trying to find petrified wood because any petrified wood you do find, because there's no agatization or jasper or anything like that, it's probably just going to be that brittle wood that just shatters. So I hold it around it on the rock. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's this area. Remember, there's treasure everywhere, but some areas are better than others.